Good morning, YouTube. We're gathered here this morning to join these three fabulous things in the ultimate matrimony. We are going to be putting this router lip in this hole. We're going to be putting that plug in a hole over there, and we're going to upgrade this workbench. So, by the powers vested in me, oh, wait. There's no powers vested in me. We're just going to put this shit in that hole. Uh, let's do it. So, to start you off, I'm going to show you what I got in this hole right now. This is a 5 five eighths piece of plexiglass, and I have mounted my router to it. Now, this is not very good. i done this four years ago, and it's a terrible job. So we're going to upgrade this crap too. So, pop that open, and there's my router. Now, it's just connected to the base, nothing fancy. That plug goes out that hole, which plugs in to this surge protector and this remote start. So, we're going to plug this into this, and we're going to mount this somewhere over here. Not sure where yet, but that's what's going to happen. Now, the router lift is a Jessam Router Lift 2 that I purchased on Amazon. It come with uh, three insert plates and I ordered extra insert plates with it. It come with a T-handle. I'm gonna have to upgrade this T-handle here a little bit. And it come with a wrench to put your inserts in and out. On the back side, it's all metal. You lock down your router here, and you got your up and down. Everything's all ball bearing sealed. It's really nice. Can't wait to get it in. But to do that, we have to make that hole bigger. So I'm going to show you all how to do that. So I want to make sure it's squared on two of the sides now my sides are very close to being exactly the same as far as the cut goes we are bigger on both sides so I did a pretty good job of not screwing anything up when I was cutting it. So I am going to clamp this down and I am going to use a marking knife and go all the way around it. Before I can clamp it down, I have to take the router base out of it because my clamps aren't long enough. But once I get the router base out, I can go ahead and use them $3 Harbor Freight clamps that I ground the nubs off of and clamp this thing to the workbench. That way it stays stable while I'm running my knife around it and getting a good clean line to trace out for my router. It's pretty important to have a real nice line for your router so you can see it. You can uh, use a razor blade for this. This is a uh, marking knife that I made myself. It's uh, just a 1095 steel and some leftover scrap wood I had. Once I get the line drawn around it, we go ahead and take the old plate out and we start setting up for the router. Now, I used some scrap wood and just used some 18 gauge brads and bradded it right to the table. I seem to do that a lot. I should definitely find a better way to do that. Because pulling the brads out, they break off and, you know, they're not great. I'm using the Bora Portamate on two sides of this, so I had to do it in two different sections. I had to unclamp it and reclamp it. I'll leave a link in the description for that. You can check it out. But it worked pretty well. It saved me from having to put extra brads in my top anyway. So I didn't do it all in one pass. I done it in several small passes, not all shown on camera, but we are very snug and 
Feels pretty flush. Now we're ready to hog out the center. Next, we got to hog out here and here because of this stuff. It won't let me come all the way forward. So we need to hog that out. And because nobody's going to see it, we just going demolition style. I'm using the Dremel Multimax. If you don't have a Multimax, you can use a jigsaw just the same. I like using a Multimax. It's a uh, more enjoyable than a jigsaw. Jessam has provided three Allen wrenches for us to use. Now this has two. I don't know what you'd call them. They're uh, little knobs on the bottom for you to be able to tighten it up against your table on either front or back side. But I feel like if you cut the hole right, it's going to fit in there tight anyways. Which, it's not going anywhere. But... I'll go ahead and move them out anyways and snug them up just because they were nice enough to provide me with the Allen ring. It still comes out pretty easy. Not too bad. So now what we're going to do is it says to put it on three quarter inch blocks, put your router in until your collet touches the table. That's what we're gonna do next. So it looks like you wanna be about halfway in the middle. Now I've already put it in there and set it. I spared you guys all the uh, crap. So what I did is I set it in there with my switch and my speed dial facing forward because that's where I want it. You may want it different. You may not. The only problem with that is it puts my nut on the back. So now I have to pull my insert out to get it's not a big deal. But anyway. So I adjusted this down until my collet was touching the table and this is where I want it. So I'm going to go ahead and lock it down here. Now I feed this through here. And this in here and there we go now I should be able to bring this all the way up that will allow me easy bit change And then we can run it all the way down. Use our handy dandy little plates here when I'm not using it. I can put this solid one in here. And it's nice and flush. No crap gets in my router. Uh, take it out. Maybe. Loosen this way. Heh. 
How the hell you get them out? Pop them out with a router. <laughs> hell, there's another one in there. They got little tiny ones. All the way up to real big ones. Which is pretty good because my old plate was starting to get pretty large. It's not huge yet, but definitely too big to be running a small router through. And definitely was not going to be big enough to run a big bit through. So now I have lots and lots of safety capabilities. So we'll go ahead, stick something like this here in. For now, tighten that down. And it also comes with a starter pin that goes in here. To make it real easy to run your stock and you can put it in on either side it comes with leveling inserts so you could level this out and get it tweaked right into your table and it comes with screws for your corner mounting holes I don't know if I'm going to be using those or not. More than likely, we'll see. Because I do kind of like the option of being able to pull this insert right out. But I don't want it walking away from me either. I mean, it's pretty snug in there. But anything can happen. Yeah, we'll probably go ahead and put them in. I guess we'll do that next time. So I did decide to put the inserts in. They did not, I didn't like the steel ones they had. They were hammering, and with this being an MDF top, didn't really want to hammer on it too much, so I got the brass ones that screw in. So I got a uh, 302 drill bit. We're just gonna make a center mark to drill. And the funny thing about this is it fits perfect in these holes, so it'll give me a nice center drill. And it's the same drill bit for which these inserts are. So it works out perfect. So we're going to go ahead and drill that with them drill bits. And then we'll thread these in. So, I put the insert on the nut, on the bolt, and we're going to go ahead and thread it in. Looks like it's easy. You think it's easy. Just wait. It gets worse. Now, I don't know if these inserts are crappy because they came from Lowe's, or... If it's because I'm trying to put it into an MDF top or if I'm just doing it wrong. But this is the worst experience I've ever had with freaking brass screws. We're going to have to clean that up with a sander. All right, all cleaned up. Let's uh, bolt her down. I got everything in. These four corner bolts were kind of a pain in the butt because that's where it mounts this MDF tabletop. The MDF was cheap and that's what I used because I didn't have a lot of money. We're going to be redoing this tabletop later on in the year. Um, 
I don't suggest using an MDF tabletop. So I got it in, they're tight, everything's nice and flush. We'll go ahead and get the uh, plug in there and then we'll try it out and see how it works. Pocket hole! So I'm just putting four pocket holes in this particular board. We're gonna put uh, two to the left and two down. That should hold it pretty well to my bench. So I mounted a board there with a couple of pocket holes. Now we're going to put on the switch. All right. Stop buttons mounted. I got a little bit of room in here for my insert plates. And there's some saran wrap back there. And the shelf down there for my router bit storage. So... I guess we're going to try this bad boy out. We'll stick a router bit in it and see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and speed through this next part a little bit. But bringing that router lift up through the table to put the bit in, that is nice. Now, the fence I had to put on from the back because I did it backwards. But everything went nice and smooth. Nothing caught. It was a really good experience. Everything went through nice and tight. That's nice. Man, that thing's uniform all the way across. Now, as long as my daughter don't come in, I ought to be able to set the right depth every time. So I put the starter pin in just so y'all can see that. Put it on the starter pin. Get all the way through. to do to finish up this install is upgrade this little knob this little tiny knob is so small that it's kind of awkward I not a fan so what I have done I have taken this big old piece of brass and I have made a pretty shiny new knob. We're going to throw that on there. Finish this up. Now, you don't have to put it on there. It's up to you. But with this little tiny piece of plastic, every time I grab a hold of it, I feel like I'm going to break it. So... Plus, the brass is prettier. And you can get a better grip on it, that's for sure. So, that little tiny knob is basically the only thing I don't like about this Jessen. Other than that, I think the install went pretty easy. It helps I already had most of the hole cut out. Uh, what else? I like all the leveling screws. Gives me a nice even flush finish with my table. We'll be replacing this tabletop again this year sometime. I'm sure I said that earlier, but uh, I hope those inserts go into that wood a lot better than it does this. I went ahead and ordered some steel ones. We'll see those come in here in the next couple days. So, that is all for this project. Uh, if you made it this far, give me that like, smash that bell, and uh, subscribe so you can see what I got going on next. I'll see y'all in.